Hello everyone, um, I've got just the one record in the post to show you. Um, so I thought um, rather than run the risk of the video um, being uh, an underwhelming length, I would take the opportunity to show you my EP collection, which is going to sort of tie in with the record I show you at the end. Um, and I'm not sure that I've ever shown you before. I am, of course, talking about the Beatles EPs. Um, so, without further ado, let me just set up my camera and we'll take a look. So I'm not honestly hugely into collecting these EPs. Um, these are, well, like a lot of my collection, just items that I've incidentally stumbled upon during the course of buying collections. And I thought... Well, it seems not a shame not to keep. So I do feel like, I don't think I've got a full complement of the EPs. But I do feel like the handful that I have kept for myself are quite nice. The Beatles hits. Yeah, they're all in good condition. I'm not completely certain whether they're all first pressings or not. Honestly, I haven't looked. It's the long, tall Sally one. As you can see, they're all in nice nick. To be honest with you, if they weren't, then I wouldn't have kept them. I'd have probably given them away. That's the All My Loving EP. And lastly, for my collection at least, Twist and Shout EP. Nice sleeve. Nice condition record. So the reason I've shown you these today. So I, th uh, I don't think any of those EPs that I've shown you really worth much more than 18 or 20 quid. They don't seem to be terribly collectible. They're nice enough. But, you know, they're sort of mid-level collectibles, if you like. This one that I've got is something of a Beatles Holy Grail, I think. And I'm sure lots of you have already guessed what it is. I've sort of had my eyes open for one of these for a while. And I saw it on eBay the other day. For a very, very, very good price. <clears throat> Little note. So as you've probably already guessed, it's the Nowhere Man EP which has got a really cool picture on the sleeve. Nowhere Man, Drive My Car, Michelle, and You Won't See Me. So no UK singles on it. I think I'm right in saying it was the penultimate EP if you include the Magical Mystery Tour one, which is sort of a different thing really. Because, of course, it was the film tie-in with a fancy booklet and all that jazz. So I think this is a first press, as you can see by the sold in the UK text across the middle. So it's a very, very, very nice copy. We've got 
70CE904-1 on side A and 905-1 on side B. But what I wonder is, how come this EP is seemingly worth so much more? Is there any particular reason? Is it because by the mid 60s, the EP was seen as a bit of a dead, a lame duck of a format, and so they just simply didn't press many? Um, I seem to remember once reading that these ones were only available by mail order, but I might be wrong on that. I can't even remember where I read it. Um, but this one, um, median selling price on Discogs is 41. Um, and it's actually gone for more than £200 on Discogs before, um, which really does, you know, that's quite a lot of money. So I wonder what the difference is. Why is the Nowhere Man EP so much more valuable than the other um, picture, disc, uh, picture sleeve EPs from the 1960s? Um, let me know. Beetle Dave, I'm wondering if you know. Um, anyone else drop a comment in the comments box um, but for now that's it I hope you enjoyed looking at that record it's a pretty cool one I think um, that I got for a bit of a snip um, but yeah that's it for now um, I've just won uh, auction on eBay which is hopefully a pretty exciting one so all being well I'll be back with you before the weekend or maybe at the weekend itself um, but yeah okay see you again soon cheers everyone bye